<laughs> I'm obsessed, what can I say? Anywhere from a, a young right. child to a, a grandmother. Everybody has iPods. Yeah, they're too popular. It's <laughs> weird. Well, I, used to, I had a Walkman until about six months ago. <laughs> There is a Freudian theory of psychosocial development which suggests that patterns of desires and identification are reinforced by the dominant institutions of education and family which exist in popular culture. We have therefore created this short documentary as a direct response to the current Apple iPod phenomenon which exists in nearly all corners of our materialistic world. I have the iPod Neto and the shovel. Oh, do you want my accessories as well? The following examples are just a scant view of the many iPod accessories and upgrades currently available on the consumer market. In a crazed 21st century world, the iPod accessory line stands out as a prime example of the smooth, functional style and panache which appeals to the masses. Okay, I have the car stereo as well. no more time. One must only take a stroll down the street to see how many people use iPods. The following clips give a brief peek into the window of obsession. Every day for at least a couple of hours. Probably a couple times a week. True story. Uh, I guess like hip, sleek, fashionable, sexy. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. They try to keep it fresh because every year, like I've right. since we've carried them, they keep changing the models over just to keep it appealing. But I don't know. I think it's uh, everybody knows about it. It's kind mm -hmm. of like a, a brand now in a household name, whether mm -hmm. people own it or not. Mm -hmm. The term planned obsolescence refers to a conscious decision made by a manufacturing giant to produce and market a consumer product, which will become obsolete in a very short period of time. Some people have accused the Apple Corporation of producing and selling their easily recognizable iPod with just such a theory in mind. Joseph Joubert once wrote, Ask the young, they know everything. Perhaps this is the reason why Apple has clearly chosen to market their product of mass consumption to the youth of the world. Gazing at the countless billboards and posters displaying iPods, one cannot help but notice the dominant appeal of the product which beckons proudly to the young consumer. I think dominantly it's going to be younger people mm -hmm. that are very, uh, you know, they are very savvy with technology. Probably like all teens and then 20s. Probably mid to late teens. Late teens, early 20s. Those terrible commercials with the people dancing with the flashing light colors. <laughs> <laughs> Ask any youth and he or she will no doubt tell you that above all the iPod is cool. The manner in which a youth experiences social life undoubtedly plays a key role in the construction of their individual identities. Kids and teens are now at the forefront of America's consumer culture. These young citizens of tomorrow are the ones now commanding the attention, creativity, and dollars of the world's advertising giants. It is both their individual and mass tastes which are now driving market trends and shaping branding strategies. Given that iPods are so prevalent in Western culture, one feels compelled to ask themselves why. Is an iPod a fashion statement, a conversation starter, a blocking device used to shield oneself from others, or is the iPod simply a representation of the innate human desire to be one of the many? No one wants to be an outcast, and we all want only to be accepted. The commercials, the white iPod and black person colors. Mm -hmm. With so many consumer products invading popular culture, it is never safe to assume that such products are secure from the stinging wrath of parody. The current global conflict in Iraq is a prime example of one such parody. With iPods as a ready vehicle for protest, the youth of today are hard at work crafting new and even more exciting forms of consumer protest. 
future shop. But future shop? On eBay. You know, there's the run-of-the-mill places like our competition future shop carries it. Uh, downtown here, London Drugs carries it. While this map demonstrates just how many businesses sell iPods and other such Apple products, a number of other businesses, both commercial and otherwise, support the iPod phenomenon by giving them away to the consumer for free. Creative Zen. Although many youth simply desire to fit in, there will always be a small subgroup of alternative product-seeking citizens. The Creative Zen fits this example nicely as it is fast becoming a popular alternative to the mass appeal of the iPod. Brands not only stick together, but they form their very own cliques, subgroups, and grassroots organizations. The iPod serves as a gateway into these groups as many of today's youth share similar tastes in music, fashion, and the world around them. Not only does the iPod provide an excuse to congregate, it no doubt also gives some sense of security to these hopeful adolescents. I'd say like 90%. Actually not very many. Not Maybe very like many. five, six? Five, six, okay. Lots. Most everyone that I know. I think it probably came from Japan. Or Korea. <laughs> Somewhere foreign that they make of okay. electronics since okay. apparently we have no technology in Canada. <laughs> It's undisputed that most of Apple's products are made and assembled in China. In recent financial filings, Apple says that most of its manufacturing is performed by third-party vendors in Taiwan, China, Japan, Korea, and Singapore. However, Apple is just one of a myriad of companies using Chinese factories to make its products. And of course, it does so purely because of China's low wages and manufacturing costs. I'd be very upset. Well, I'm a sitting waiting for my California girl. Partly the brand name, partly the appearance, the fact that it had a screen. It was cheap, I bought it off of eBay. While the phenomenon of the Apple iPod does indeed create its own dominant discourse, we believe that people should have the freedom to choose and not be interpolated by anyone. To choose life, to choose freedom, and above all, to choose their own identity. Apple isn't the only MP3 product on the market, and while it has embedded itself deep into popular culture, there are many alternative products out there. All you have to do is make an informed choice. It's just played over Well, I'm sitting waiting for my California girl In time, the puzzle of love for run away with her It's just there It's just there It's just that